Hey guys, it's Dave. From, I'm standing in the middle of Kerr City, Florida. It's now known as simply a ghost town. Hey guys, what uh, what date was this town founded? 1884. Yep. yep. 84. 84. So a lot of these graves, we went out and did a preliminary walk around. A lot of these graves are from that time. Um, the town was, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys. They uh, they were out here with the orange groves mostly back in those days. Yes. Yeah. And they had back-to-back -back years where all the crops froze, so everybody pretty much up and left this town. I believe it was uh, t uh, 26 and 20, 1926, 1927. Yep. Yep. And so one guy's over. family has continuously owned this town, correct? Yes. Since that time, and they try to keep it up. There's several structures: an old post office, several houses, an old barn, and the property has numerous reports of death. For various reasons, so we're gonna go out here and see what we can get. Less than um, 50 years that it was a town. What we're doing, guys, we're marking the trail because we are here with some very respected people in the paranormal field, Mr. John Zaffis, George Lopez, Andrea Perron. What we've done is split up into groups, and we're investigating various areas separately, and we're going to swap out from different times tonight. All right, we're entering the graveyard. There's the first headstone that we came across. Our man was right about here when he took the picture, uh, looking at these two gravestones here. Mm -hmm. And I had a tri-field right here on the bottom, and I was standing right here. And he was taking pictures of me and taking pictures of me. He took about 10 or so, and um, nothing was being captured. And of course, on the last one, when I try to goof around, I make a funny face in it, and they all start to react to it and go, oh man, oh man, I'm like, well, it wasn't that funny. I go over and look, and sure enough, there, there's this, standing right about here, eye level with me, this, um, this mist manifesting itself, clear as day, head and shoulders of an apparition looking right at me. From that perspective, I'm looking at the camera, and this thing, you see the profile of it, and it's looking right at me. And the mist goes well above me and well below me, but the, the thickest part is the head and shoulders, which are very clear. Tell me about the grave we're going to right now. The, the grave that we're going to now is uh, Gracie's grave. Gracie is a name that we get picked up on any one of the buildings here on this property. Uh, 
this is one of the things that we can verify as being accurate when we pick up these disembodied voices and EVPs of her, and we can say that this is her grave here. And uh, she reacts to it when we talk about it. We'll pick up her name here as well. Um, I know the people watching can't tell, but we're in the middle of absolute nowhere right now. Oh yeah, I can see it. Get random K2 spikes out here, pushing way past 20 milligauss, and whoever can explain that for out in the woods here, I don't know. <laughs> Gracie's grave, guys, is the only one out here that is fenced off. Yes. It's got a fence that was put up during, sometime during after her burial, I would say. This is most definitely the most elaborate grave that's out here. Yeah. This one. Gracie, without me saying my name, can you tell me my name? If you don't remember my name, it's Tyler. I've communicated with you on almost every square foot of this land. If you're with us this evening, can you give us a sign of your presence like you normally do? Is there anybody else in these woods that would like to communicate with us this evening? I'm not extending the invite just to Gracie. As always, we come out here in peace and mean you absolutely no harm. I'm sure it gets lonely out in these woods by yourself, day in and day out. And I don't care who you are, everybody enjoys a good conversation now and then. Now's your chance to talk with us. If you scream your name or tell us something into the red light, we will play it back and you can hear your own voice. Would you like that? Did you used to own land out here? Were you here before this was known as Kerr City? Movement to my right. Mm -hmm. I keep looking that way. I saw something break the light. If that's you coming closer, don't be afraid. We want to talk with you. Nobody will give you a better conversation than us. What do you want to talk about? What interests you? Did your family used to live down here? Let's see if we can uh, put out a, a touch device of either a rim pod or whatever and see if Most we can definitely. get some. What? What was that? Did you guys hear that? There's something over here. By you?
Are you coming closer towards us? We put out a little toy for you. If you're not comfortable talking, you can show us your presence by doing this. All you have to do is that right there. And it lights up pretty lights. It won't hurt you at all. Yo! Did, yeah, I saw that. did it? Yeah. Okay, if that's you, can you... Thank you. Dude, there's no EMF. There's no way that should be going off right exactly. now. Are you sure? Can you grab a hold of it and grab it, make it all go off? Don't be scared of it. Gracie, I know sometimes you Thank know you. to build your energy before doing things for us. See any spiders or anything? No. Anything on it. Nothing. Here. Nothing on it. Yeah, nothing on it. That's, there's no branches touching it, anything. That's one of the oddest things ever. Okay, keep touching it, Gracie, if that's you. If you are Gracie, can you please touch it right now when I count to three and let us know it's actually you? One, two, three. Please touch it again if you're Gracie. Is that a Mr. Lopez? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we walked from the farm to here. It's long as hell. Oh, yeah. Can you please touch that again if you are? Thank you. Okay, just to confirm that, can you please touch it two times if you are Gracie? Two times, please. Cemetery attendants, Taylor, Tyler, Dave, Jared. Gracie, is that the vision that I just got out of nowhere? Girl, young girl, light brown hair, white dress, running through the flowers. Is that you? that I just got out of nowhere. Girl, young girl, light brown hair, white dress, running through the flowers. Is that you? Too far off. 
Is that, there's my two I asked for on the rim pod. Took forever. Two, two distinct hits. I thought we wouldn't be gracious. The rim pod just went off over here about two or three times. Did and you he remember I said, I said two distinct. Before it went up. Now it's doing Outstanding. Mm -hmm. said two David, are you yes. recording that? Yes. Every time he's mentioned Gracie, it's come out. Yep. Talk to her, Jared. Hey, Gracie. Are you here with us tonight? How old are you? Do you like it out here? Gracie, if you're here with us, could you please touch that little device right there that lights up that nice green light? Could you just grab onto it for us? And make all those pretty lights come on. You don't have to be scared. Thank you, Gracie. Gracie, just to make sure this is really you, could you pretty, pretty please, could you make the green light come on two different times? Two times for us so we know it's you. Yeah. Oh. Is that you, Gracie? Two. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gracie. I thank know it probably you. took you a while to do that with some energy, oh. but thank you, thank you. And now it's gonna go nuts. She's figuring it out. Do you like that? Is that fun? Let's <laughs> see. Mm -hmm. You can keep doing it. You can play with it all you want. About a minute ago, did you hear that rustling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty light, ain't it? It's my favorite color. It's a green. Can you do it three times really fast? Like bang, bang, bang? Let's play a game. Thank you, Gracie. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. That's unreal. She likes it now. I think she finds it interesting because it's mm -hmm. a piece of technology she hasn't seen before. We're going to pick it up just real quick, Gracie, yep. and we'll put it right back down for you, I promise. It is working. All right, we're moving over to some other graves now that are out here in the graveyard. Watch that little metal sign, you don't want to cut yourself on that. Four graves right here. Well, there should be about uh, eight or ten. All right, we're standing. About. Yeah, we're standing right in the center of these graves. Let me move back here a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Go ahead. You want to start us off? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So here we are. We've transitioned to a different area here. From where we were before, we thought we were hearing you closer to this area. If you are here with us, could you give us a sign of your presence, please? I'm going to dig my recorder out of my pocket, guys. <laughs> you can speak to us. You can throw something. You 
never be the easiest for you. Do you have anything to say to us? Come on. Times I get a lot of EVPs that behind us. You, you guys ever try that? No. Um, I will put a recorder on my back sometimes, on my backpack, mount it, and walk around, and you'll be surprised what you get. You know, really? Yeah. So I put one probably about 15, 15 feet back there. Okay. <clears throat> See that behind me? Yeah. Who's here with us? Could you come closer, please? Could you come closer, please, to the sound of my voice? Are you here visiting somebody that was buried? Are you buried out here? Who was that? Are that too? Yeah. It was like a... Mm. Yeah. Nobody's stomachs did that or anything? No, my stomach's over here growling. Did it go, mm? No, it didn't go, mm. Like, blah, 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 blah. No, that wasn't what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tag it anyway. Tag that, yeah. Can you throw something somewhere to let us know you're here? Show them how to use your rim pump. You hear that? Yeah. Obviously a car alarm. You know what? We heard that. If that was you, could you do it again for us, please? Throw something again for us, please. Okay, how old are you? I feel like it's fun. Are you hiding from us on purpose? Somebody else here that you'd rather speak with? You're smart. You know our names by now. Tell us who your favorite is. Is that you? All you have to do is walk towards it. Done. How much more easy to get you spoke to us, I thank you. And you'll be having some more visitors shortly. And we are here at the post office, what they call the old post office in Kerr City, Florida. Built in 1884. We're going to go in and do some EVP work and ghost box, see what we can come up with. Uh, Temperature detector. That's Alana. Start an EVP session. Alana, is that you?
if that was you, could you come downstairs and introduce yourself to our new friends? My friends Dave and Jared, I've never met you before. We hear you. Could you come closer to us? Lana, I know you relive certain incidents in this building. I know that because you know we helped you in identifying who your murderer was, who your killer was. Do you remember that? I'm also now more aware than I have ever been aware before that that gentleman, although he was a bad man, was influenced, influenced by other things in this house, influenced by other things on this property, on this land. Can you bring him forward and with it the energies that drove him to murder you and Becca now go get him and bring him here please in the middle of the living room or the bottom floor of the post office bring him here please Did one of you just move? No. I swear to God, I'm not shitting you guys. I just saw something right above your head, Dave. Did oh, yeah? Shadow. Yeah, shadow. Dave, you didn't put your hand up for a second? No. I saw it too. Dude. I didn't move anything, except I panned the camera slowly to the right, that so slow you wouldn't have been able to see it. Alana, I want you to try and get Jeffrey or Mr. Nasty your murderer to reveal himself to us in this room now. If you can help us, honey, we appreciate it. Maybe she wants to ask something. Girls, is he trapping you upstairs? Okay, I'm doing shadow play. Hear that? Yes. Alright, go ahead. I'm sorry, Tyler. Are you upstairs? Stomach. I was going to say. Huh. Where's my stomach? Can the dark energy that's in this house... You've done it for us before. 
Who wants to come forward and speak with us right now? Make your presence known. Hmm. Interesting. Can you do something other than manipulate the device, please? I guess the floor, floor vibrate a little bit. No, I, I swear I'm feeling this floor vibrate, guys, underneath my feet. I swear to God, the the other guy. Uh, Bob, I think, mm -hmm. he was sitting right where you're sitting, and he said the same exact thing. Really? Yep. I'm telling you, I feel something moving under this floor, man. And it's not something little. It The floor, like... Vibrates. Yeah. That's, that's a temp... That part of it's a temperature detector. Oh, that's a millimeter hit on it. That's the REM pod. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Something has to be really close to that, guys, for that to go off. Even closer than the big REM pod. The yeah. other part is the temperature fluctuation. 0. 0.5 plus or negative degrees sets that off. Jesus. It's really cold right here, dude. I mean, really. Is there a All you have to do is this. Look, see that? Just touch it like that for me. Right here, come here. Right here, stand right here. Tell me if you can tell the difference in the temperature. It's a little bit colder. Alright, we're now moving upstairs. What was once the post office here, and also what nurse or doctor's area, guys? They had like a nurse, correct? Uh, yes. This, room? Okay. this is where I got real heavy feeling when we first did a walk oh, yeah, around. Really. <sighs> okay, my foot's hurting. I need I need help. Can I get some assistance up here, please? Is that you? What is that? What is that? Is that water dripping in there? It has to be. I don't know, but it went for a little bit. It sounded like it was above our heads, though, to me. If that's you making that knocking sound, do it when I count to three. One, two, three. You know what that sounded like? What? It sounded like a drum. Yeah, it kind of did, didn't it? I have, a, I have a drum that sounds exactly like that. If that's the Native American spirits coming through, can you do it again, please, to confirm it for us? I'm hearing yeah. it. I'm hearing it. Sounds like it's above our heads a little bit. Can you do it louder, please? It's messed up. Oh. Who's up here? Who of the non-living is up here right now? Anyone. Do something. Show us something. Do you hear that? It's like my chair more. I don't know if it was anything. 
It was my chair, but I wasn't moving. Girls? Did you hear that? What was that? Right behind me. If that was you, could you do that again for us, please? Twice, just like that. He wasn't moving. I had him on camera. Yeah, I'm completely still. If that was you, thank you. Keep, keep doing it. Are you downstairs? If so, could you do that again for us, please? Knock as loud as you can. We know you know what that thing is. Now that <clears throat> that mail that George talks about, Mr. Nasty, mm -hmm. we call him Greg. Greg! Greg, I know you don't like me. Why is it doing that? I've never... you're, you're doing that now? Yeah. Shh, shh. Did it sound like it was being hit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Still. Okay, Greg. Stop it now. <laughs> I don't think we'll stop Why is it clicking? I've never heard it do that, dude. Let me go do the battery check. I just changed it as soon as we sat down, by the way. Watch out, the rim pods right here. Yeah, yeah. I tried to put it in the middle one. It's not the best for Okay. I turned that function off. Now you're forced to touch it. That's me small. Greg, I know you love a challenge. Oh, come on, Greg. I'm bored. Mr. Tough, Strong, Greg. What, what kind of man picks on women and then bows down when four other men come in and challenge him? You just love picking on women? But you can't pick on other men. I mean, come on, Greg. We've been down this road before. We've had the same conversation. When are you going to stop hiding? I thought that was a growl. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would have been one of the most creepiest. When are you going to stop lurking in the shadows? Does the nasty man, I wonder if he likes tobacco. I have no idea if he does. Look here, Greg, or whoever, whoever, I got some chewing tobacco. I'll do a little trade with you. That's Jarrett sneezing. If you make a huge bang, I will leave you some tobacco. Starting now, you have 30 seconds. Oh, what was that that just went through the... Excuse me again. It might have been dust. Something big fell from the ceiling, dropping down. Or paint. Make a loud bang and you get tobacco. 
or anything. We don't care. Something really significant. Come on, Greg or Mr. Nasty. Our stomachs are more active than you. Hmm. What's that? What was that? Did you move, Jared? Not moving. No. I felt that almost. It was like in the building. Dude, that, that was, was movement. Wow. Where was that? Did you tell where it was coming from? That no, was coming from room. Jeremy's room. Or Jared's. Excuse me. Well, we kind of... Come on, Mr. Nasty. Who was see? that? Come on in. I don't bite. Can you come sit on the bed with me? With me. I'd like to get to know you a little better. I won't let him hurt you, I promise. Those two yeah. yeah. Last chance to make your presence known, and we will leave you. Something just touched my face. All right. Who's got a flashlight? Um, see if you see a bug or anything flying. <laughs> I, can, I can see right now. I don't see anything. Something just touched my face right here. Felt like a something just went like that or a bug landing on me, one of the two. Well, there's spiders in the doorway. That, but that's nowhere near you. No, I, that's all. Mm -mm. Yeah. <clears throat> don't know. Probably not paranormal, but. Hey, Gracie, do you like these lights? You think that's cool? Can you come walk in front of them? Can you go stand and stop right in the middle of the room beside Jared? That's true. All right, I'm I'm good with this place, guys. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys good? Yep. Yeah. Father's house, guys. Uh, numerous reports of activity from Arthur Brennan, and reports of some type of negative entity in this house as well. We're gonna see what we get. Arthur, if you are here and you'd like to communicate with us, or even just me, you're a smart man. Could you give me a sign to let me know that you understand me right now? It's so peaceful in here. No, you don't get any heaviness done. Arthur, it's been a while since we've been able to talk with you. So, Arthur. Do you have anything you wish to say to me? After all this time? Are you willing to give us any sign of your presence? Stack it. Now we heard you walking. I do appreciate that. We heard that. 
Arthur, my name's Dave. I came a long way to talk with you. And I would like if you could try as hard as you can to speak your name into one of these red lights you see around the room or touch the pretty blue lights or something to show me that you're really here with me. Could you do that for me, please? That was me moving. I was check checking the mail here, make sure it's still working. Mr. Brennan, Arthur, we surely haven't forgotten about you. Go touch and move your most prized possession in that room. Keep showing us that you are intelligent and communicate with us. Don't be lazy. Did you hear that? George's voice? No, in there. I heard a little knock. I know now. Whoever's in the kitchen, can you please come closer and make some noise for us? What the? You heard that voice? That yes, whispered? that was loud. Yeah, like a... Fucking chair rock, please. Alright, so here we go. We're upstairs now. When we were downstairs, we could hear you up here. We could hear you speaking. And that's when we were downstairs. We could hear you up here doing those things. Can you do it for us now that we're upstairs? Mr. Brennan. You've never had a problem in the past with me sitting in your chair. I know that has to be your prized possession. Would you mind if I had a seat in it now? Hear those two knocks? No. Was that you? Wasn't me. You heard that though, right? Yeah, I heard. What else is in here with us that would like to communicate? Is that you, Taylor? No. Prove people wrong. Show to us, show us that you do exist. And you are here with us right now. You can understand me. Give us an undeniable sign of your presence in this home. This is your home.
I'll sit in the rotten chair. Don't cut triggers or anything. I hope you don't mind, but I'm sitting in your rocking chair. I want to test it out. Do you hear that? If you don't like me sitting in this chair, let me know. By making a noise, scream out, whatever. Holy shit. What? I just heard a voice in my left ear. And the, like, oh, like that's, that. com that's common yeah. in a chair. That's happened before. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm out. I'm out of it. Most of the time it happens in the front. They'll hear it from right in front of their face, like here. It was right here. You didn't want him in that chair. You said something to him and he got up. Must be moving. Coming towards you. Do you have anything that you wish to say to us right now? You guys want to take over talking, Tracy? Yeah. Let, let them talk for a minute, see if they can get any responses. Go ahead, bud. Hey, Mr. Brennan, I'm still laying on your bed. Taking me a nice nap. Are you still upset that I'm in here, even though I'm... A child, as you would say. Because I'm younger. Is it pissing you off? Well, I'm sorry, but until you tell me otherwise, there, there's not much I can do about it. Is this not Mr. Vernon I'm talking to? There's something else in here with me? If it's not Mr. Brennan, and it's somebody or something else, could you show me? We're all up in your space. Did you do that to your own bathroom? What the hell was that? Tyler, Taylor, and Dave were at Twin Oaks. I know that was a female voice. It was white. It's a dead. Crazy, can you confirm what you just said? If that was you, where are you? He asked you where you are. Ghost box session. All right. If there's any spirits in this house that wish to communicate, can you tell us your name right now, please? Speak loud and clear. Gracie, if you're here, feel free to come through and talk with us. What? Is that you, Gracie?
Who's here with us right now? Gracie, did you hear it? Yeah, you said Gracie. Real quick. Really fast. Gracie. How old are you, Gracie? Forty. We're only speaking to Gracie right now. We are listening. Gracie, where are you buried? Gracie, how many spirits are in this room with us right now? Seven. 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 That was clear yeah. and quick. Now, we heard, we heard the number seven. Was that correct? We heard the number seven. Was that correct? Could you say seven again? We need confirmation, please. It's funny though how we've only heard numbers when we've asked for a number. Yeah. Answer, you know? yep. Okay. I know. We'll, we'll try this. Can you tell us, okay, we were over visiting your grave earlier. What did he offer to give you if you spoke to us? Alana, are you here? Alana. Didn't say Alana, said Alana. Alana. Can you tell us one of the names of the people that left already? Tell us the name of one of the of people that left here already. Can be a woman or a man, we don't care. Hold on quiet for a second. Do you need in here? Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll get we'll give you another chance to talk on that in a minute. We're gonna turn it off for now. Is there anybody in this home that wishes to communicate with us? Now that it's quiet. Everybody's gone. It's just us now. If you're in the kitchen, come in here and talk to us so we can see you. Is that a whisper? You hear it? I heard something. It was
Is anybody in here strong enough to communicate with us? Alana, are you here with us? Okay. My name's Dave, and we've been trying to talk to one of you all night, any of you. Speak into the little red light, and if, and if you talk to us and we hear your voice, we will play it back and you'll be able to hear your own voice. Can you please tell me your name loud and clear into the little red light? Your mom in the kitchen? Yeah, I heard something. All right, ask one now. You ask a question. Do you want us out of your house? Hey, one moment. Yeah. Okay, stop and play it back. Did it pick up any of that movement? No. No. That's what I'm trying. I don't know. 